know that we will dance before him for one hour. Unbreakable one. So if you have not danced before God, we just wrote an example. We just, so not your money, not your dress, your dance, a dance offering. That was what God requested. And I promised him that we give him one hour, nothing. We're not here for any story. One hour. So we have 10 more minutes. For your children are complete in your hand. 2023 consumed so many people. Even if you lost anything, God is the reason you didn't lose everything. Now listen, beloved mothers. If you had lost anything, God will still have been God. Nothing changes. Those of you watching online, you better dance. It's a vow to the Lord. And we have God. Let the people praise me then. They have. Hey, God is up to some. It's a dance. Say, I will never be ungrateful to you, Jehovah.
Everybody that God has helped always listen to their stories. Anytime God asks me for something, I give him more. He says, bring your tithes. So I don't give 10%. I give more. Since I promised God one hour, let's add five minutes. What you are doing now is what will simplify your prayers. So that in 2024, there are some prayers you won't need to pray. Heaven will just remember that you danced. It's an offering. But if you are too psychedelic, I'm sorry. You forgive us all because we still want to take five more minutes to give thanks to the Lord. You to look at your life. How many people died in your neighborhood? You to look at your life. See what you have become. See your children. Hey, jam. Hey, ah. Is it not somebody that has a child that can talk about jam? Even if you are going through a challenge now, as God's servant that you believe in, I said, God said, use it to praise. Use it to dance. That situation over your child. Madam, leave your seat. Come and carry it and thank God in advance. Oluwa, look at Olu now. Thank God. Because God will never allow you to take back your offering. Five more minutes. Those of you that have challenges, you better let your dance be greater than the others.
Let's begin to bring our prayers to a close. In the name of Jesus, we have received. Amen. Father, you asked me that question, and I have asked your people. They have told you. Please give them testimonies. Amen. Let all of us, between now and next Mother's Summit, have many reasons to give you thanks. I thank you because you are faithful. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have received. I'm sure the amen can be better and lovely. Hallelujah. Amen. I welcome you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to Mother's Summit 2024. 40 minutes or thereabouts declared it to you you will testify over your children that they are mighty in the name of Jesus Psalm 112 is where the theme is from Psalm 112 praise ye the Lord blessed is the man that feareth the Lord that delighteth greatly in his commandments his seed shall be mighty God said it. His word gave it to us. In the name of Jesus, our seeds shall be mighty yeah. upon the earth. Grown very old. Generations will still be blessing our generation. Yeah. Make sure your amen is very loud. Yeah. God now continued to give us bonuses. Wealth and riches.
riches shall be in our houses. Atoshima. And his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there ariseth light. Whatever situation looks like darkness, I declare God's word there will be light. He is gracious and full of compassion. He's saying amen. No, I'm declaring God's word. A good man showeth favor. It's one of the instructions that God will have me give to mothers. A shall no go in 2024. Show mercy to people. I want more Show kindnesses to other people's children in 2024. I gave me in 2024. Show kindness to people. Particularly people that cannot repay you. A young man is in my house now. He came visiting yesterday. He just graduated from the University of Ife. It was in the day. And we were ruminating and remembering all that happened. He said he was watching the protocol because he said he had been there for two hours. They didn't want him to see us. I, think, I don't know what we had, the program we had. He was scared. He said, I used to do, I used to serve bricklayers. He just showed up. Excuse me, ma. I gained admission. This is the something, something time that I've gained the admission. I cannot pay. I just said, Jesus, I used time to walk him out here. Because I didn't feel safe. He was reminding me yesterday. He said, I used to sell pure water at cathedral there. I said, how much is your school fees? The rest is history. He graduated. He's a law, he's a law graduate now. Not only that, oh, while he was schooling, God showed him so much mercy. He's now into real estate. My son gave me money. I cannot believe that he gave me correct money. He's in my house now. He said, I just came to spend three days with you. I just want to thank you. He said, I'm still going to stand on this altar. I got the altar to testify. Mommy, you are not perfect. You are about estates. I uh, think, you know, you know some, some things that are more than even me, his mother. When I started paying his school fees, one day outside there, he said, Mommy, the, their father died in an accident. And the man gave them up to two days. I just remembered one money that I had somewhere. I called my brother. He said, Look who you are. Look who you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know he would become great. That boy has become a big boy now. Big. Big. As in big. How much did I pay at school fees in Ife? For five years. And every month I will be sending something for his pocket money. So that he could buy Omo. Buy Bonvita. Can I ever finish eating that now? Mothers, in 2024, I'm giving you an instruction. We're here to pray, but you know I give instructions. Be kind. That's your house help. Because you don't know the head that that person brought to this world. Please show kindness to people. God is going to be particular about it. He's going to be watching and supervising. And your children too. My children are abroad and they are, some of them are abroad. And the kind of testimonies they share with me, how people will just rise up on their behalf. Only God could have done that. Surely he shall not be moved forever. Only me, The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. In 2024, if any fearful thing happens, just laugh. Laugh. Let the devil be wondering. Just laugh. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he sees his desire upon his enemies. He has despised. He has given to the poor. His righteousness and joy grieved. 
he shall gnash his teeth. I didn't put it there. The Bible put it there. So it's FFA cursing. I'm not cursing. I'm reading the Bible. It's there in the Bible now. And melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Your seed shall be mighty upon the earth. Shall be powerful. Great. Large. That's your amen. It's not like you have children. Towering. Gigantic. Exceedingly great. Strong. Your children shall be powerhouses. Financial powerhouses. When your children return, when they arrive like this, the neighbors will say, Hey! Yao no wo! Your children shall be a force to reckon with. Your children shall be heroes in the name of Jesus. Let me lead you to pray a few prayers. Number one, Lord, please in 2024, use my children's lives to explain honor. Remember, we are praying. You will go on YouTube or Facebook to watch it. You don't need to write now. I want you to pray. Please pray. Let's be fast. Father, use my children's lives in 2024 to explain what honor from God means. What is the meaning of honor? Lord, use my children's lives to explain this scripture that your seed shall be mighty. My seed is mighty upon the earth. My seed shall be mighty upon the earth. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. Esther chapter 6 and verse 6. Esther chapter 6 verse 6. The Bible says, So Haman came in and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? I decree in the name of Jesus Christ that in 2024, this question will be asked concerning your children. People that have what it takes to lift them, to make them mighty, we ask, what can we do to even honor this person? Number two, my seed shall not be wasted. I want you to pray that prayer. God, keep their coming in and they are going out. Keep their coming in. Are you praying? Because your children have to be alive. People will be wasted in 2024. Children will be wasted, but I exempt my children. The Felix are dead to my children and grandchildren. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall not be wasted. You shall not be wasted. You shall not be wasted. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon my children. You are to be mighty, not wasted. You are to be mighty, not petty. Riga, Yabosh, Kante, Libraga. That's why I, as your mother, am here today to pray. In the name of Jesus, you shall not be wasted. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. In Genesis chapter 27, Esau was planning to kill Jacob. Re Rebekah took the responsibility of planning his escape. God will plant strategic people that will deliver your children from evil. In 1 Samuel chapter 19, Micah helped David to escape death. All of you that are on site today, or many of you that are online, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not weep over your children. When they should not travel, they will not travel. When they should leave the house, they will leave. For your sake, your children shall not be wasted. to pray now. Father, I delete any wrong relationship that can implicate my child's destiny from their lives. It may be somebody that the child is planning to marry. You better pray now. My children will not marry wrongly. I uproot that girl. I uproot that boy from their lives. My children, in the name of Jesus, I delete wrong relationships. Wrong relationships. Relationships that are not of God. I delete. I delete. I uproot. How God will do it, I don't know. 
But in the name of Jesus, my children will not marry wrongly. Hey, my grandchildren will not marry wrongly. Anyone that will not give us peace, anyone that will scatter our family. Those of you whose children are not yet married, pray this prayer very well. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. I want you to decree, my children shall fear the Lord. They shall delight in God's word. I come against distractions in their lives. They will love God. They will be passionate. Ah, anything about the kingdom will always touch their hearts. Felix, I did you, my children. You will fear God. Grandchildren, you will greatly delight in God's commandments. Because this is the reason why you can be mighty. You will love God. You will serve him. Anything that has to do with the kingdom will please you. I come against distractions. Distractions. Whatever wants to distract you from destiny, from loving Jesus, from serving him. Ah, I distract you from such distractions. By the blood of the Lamb, I decree that you succeed. You succeed. You succeed. You love God. You serve him. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. This next one is also very important. I want you to come against delay in your children's lives. It's okay to succeed, but they should succeed on time. Your child should stop repeating class. Your child should not get married at 40. Cause delay, cause it, cause it to its root. I lay my hands on my womb today. Every child that calls me mother, I rebuke delay in your life. My grandchildren, you will make it on time, on time. You shall be mighty on time, on time. Upon the earth, on time, on time, on time, on time, on time. On time. My grandchildren, you will succeed on time. You will get married on time. You will have children on time. I come against delay, delay, delay. Lord, who Jesus, I come against delay. Any form of delay in your finance, in your career, over your, over your lives, over your destiny. You will make it on time, on time, on time, on time, on time, on time, on time. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. I want you at this moment, before we go on, to stand as if somebody wants to push you and you are refusing. And I want you to push your first child. Gain speed, daddy daughter. Gain speed, gain speed, gain speed. Gain speed, daddy daughter. Gain speed. Gain speed. All my first grandchildren. Gain speed. Lord, we call Jesus. Moso, jaiye, mo de sun yisi wajo. Ori of a sun yisi wajo. God's grace pushes you forward. Liga taya bo kato tapriga shantala. My firstborn gain speed. I push you forward. Lordu ka Jesus. Go ke go ke go ke go up go up go up go up go up. Soa 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 soa. Liga ya bo rego sete chekati. In the name of Jesus. So, so, you will not be at the mercy of your siblings. You will not be at the mercy of your friends. And they don't want to do more. Rigayabosetale briga shanta namanga tote tote lugrigaska. Ro ye kalebe getebe oni toroje. Ruga sata o ni gbeyi lubaga ya makata cha cha robo god say cut up o ya o ya o ya gain speed gain speed gain speed gain speed gain speed more faster make progress breakthrough
There is a God that answers prayers. By the covenant, I push you. At the covenant, I push you forward. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. The next prayer point. Every battle insulting my children's destiny. Today, bow. Psalm 46, verse 9. Psalm 46, verse 9. He maketh wars to cease. Kilo de ugo inti poju now. Kilo de war cease. Every battle insulting my children's destiny. Bow. I am their mother. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Crash. Crumble. Bow. Never to rise again. Whatever, every battle, every battle, insulting their destiny, some they cannot even share with me. Things they are going through, bow! I bring this weapon, I bring this prayer cover. Every battle, insulting my children's destinies, things they have shared with me, Things they cannot even share with me. Things they don't even want to share because they don't want to bother me. Bow! Never to rise again. I stand upon Psalm 46. He maketh wars to cease. I command every war to cease. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. When I come to lead you, Mother Summit, so I'm privileged. Particularly the first, the messages I preach in the first one or two weeks of every year, take note of. If you have an encounter with me and I have to preach in the first one or two, there, there are things that God downloaded to me that I will use for my year. And because I'm a leader and I have the privilege of the pupils, I do my best to share with people that I come in contact with. This next one, I want you to take it serious. You're going to stretch your two hands and you will see. In 2024 and beyond, silver and gold will multiply in my hand. Marine control you more. And silver and gold will also multiply in my children's lives. Marine control you me. In 2024 and beyond, silver and gold, take it serious, will cause silver and gold to multiply in my hand in 2024. Silver, gold, multiply in my hand. Multiply in my children's lives. No matter how I spend, it will not finish. No matter the project, it will not finish. In 2024, I will not finish. Adon. Apo. Ape. From glory to glory. From grace to grace, from breakthrough to breakthrough, from abundance to abundance, in 2024 and beyond, silver and gold shall multiply in my hands. As I walk, God blesses the works of my hands. God blesses my career. Paul may plant, Apollos may water. It is God that gives increase. In 2024 and beyond, as I walk, silver and gold shall multiply in my hands over my studies, over my business, over my businesses, over my ministry, over my life assignments. 
Silver and gold shall multiply. I pray the same for my children and my grandchildren. I pray the same for my dear husband. Silver and gold shall multiply in his hands. They, we will not beg. We will not borrow. We will not be at the mercy of our critics. We will not be at the mercy of our mockers. We will not need their helps. Father, show us mercy in 2024. Let my children receive mercy. Let my grandchildren receive your mercy. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on us. My husband and I, the Phyllis Adejumo tribe, in 2024 and beyond, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. We receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Put the hands on your head. Let the multiplication be married to you. Now touch your head and say, Father, in 2024, lift my head. Lift my children's head. Lift my husband's head. Lift my grandchildren's head. Oh, yeah, pray. Lift our heads, oh God. Father, more crowns, more wings. Lift our heads, oh God. It's only you we have. We don't have any other person. According to 2 Kings chapter 25, lift our heads, oh God. Lift our heads. Jehovah, lift our heads. Thank you, Father. We give you the glory and the praise. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Few more and we'll be done. You can remove your hand. I want you to pray for your children and I want you to declare every opposition at the junction of my child's glory. I silence you. We are be sharing, maybe at work, maybe in school. Every opposition at the junction of my children's glory. When somebody is about to recommend them for blessing, for lifting, when they are about to move forward, even me too. Pray, oh, every opposition at the junction of our glory, of our promotion, of our lifting, I destroy you. I come against you in the name of Jesus. I come against opposition at the junction of glory in our lives. I silence you in the name of Jesus. I silence you in the name of Jesus. I silence you in the name of Jesus. Hey! You call Abu Shantan. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. We are praying that prayer. We are repeating it in another way. Jeremiah chapter 18 and verse number 18. The Bible talks about some people that said, we know that Jeremiah can preach, or we know that God has called him, we know that this, we know that that, but... Let us smite him with the tongue. In fact, when you recover, it's a proof that God is with you. They can use their mouths. They can use their fingers. Now that social media is even free, relatively. They will just hide under one fake account and start one lie. And you know bad news, negative news. The good things that you have done, they won't talk about it. It's the negative, negative. And like my husband would say, some people that are not happy that you are happy, they've been watching over your life, over your children's life. Every tongue. Every tongue. Isaiah 54, 17. Jeremiah 18, 18. Let us smite him with the tongue. Somebody wants to marry your child. They will now go there and say, eh, but Cynthia, you know, 
I know the grandmother, the great great. And in fact, when I was in secondary school, something happened. Somebody started one lie against a girl that uh, the grandmother, they used to live in Ayetoro together, Kogi State, and that uh, the reason why the woman was sent out of the village was because she stole. So the person didn't want to marry her again. And it was a lie. They would just start something. That's what we call smiting with the tongue. If they beat you with Cain, you will cry and forget it. But tongues of men. And some of you don't know that that's the problem. Somebody just said something against your child. Some of you just laugh. And you won't take it up in prayers. Yesterday, it was as if I was driving around, not really around Akure, but I was driving around, taking some authorities. I was alone in the car. I will cry, I will pray. Anytime the Holy Ghost steers my heart like that. Whatever they are brewing, be burukutu. Whatever they are putting together, all their concussions, in 2024 and beyond, you have five solid minutes. This prayer is, is, point, is, so, is so strong. Some of you, you think because you are like this, everybody is like that to you. At work. And they are using their tongues against you. They will go to your boss, to your GM. Pray, oh. Pray, 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 pray. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. My husband, myself, our children, our grandchildren, their spouses. Every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, I condemn. I condemn it. Pull the trigger. Pull it. Before they start using it against you. Before they start talking to the person that will have married you. Before they start diminishing you and demeaning you. Every tongue that... If anybody has started smiting us with the tongues, we judge you. Don't go to that shop, oh. Don't go and buy something from her. I judge you. By the blood of the Lamb. Every tongue, whoever you may be, that is rising up against my business, rising up against my children, rising up against my grandchildren, rising up against my husband, rising up against me, rising up against our ministry. In judgment today, I condemn you. Ah, pray, oh, the Lord laid this on my heart. We shall not be smitten by the tongues of men. Ah! We shall not be smitten by the tongues of men. We shall not be smitten. Every tongue that rise, whether I know how to pray this prayer or not, say, you rise up against my business, you will fall for my sake. Hello, me affair, me You will fall for my sake. Whatever you desire for me that is negative, I send it back to the sender. Back to the sender. Back to the sender. Every arrow, back to the sender. Riga ya bashata ya bokoska. Only to see her, only just see me back to the sender. Against my husband, against my children, back to the sender. Riga ya bashata na bokot soto lubrege seke yibadat. No ba ya gada bagata na brokosh kata ni gerege sete yebokos. Likata ya baba ragash kanta ni bragas. Every pit that you dig for me, you will fall in it. That's what the book of Psalm 109 says. Every pit that you dig for me in 2024, you and yours will fall into it. You dig pit for me, you make a yebo shot on you, Hey, hey, Jesus. Thank you for letting me know this on time. Every smiting of the tongue. I judge you by the blood of the Lamb. I decree over my children. Thank you, Father. 
in the name of Jesus we have prayed. Amen. Amen. It's a powerful prayer point. So anybody that is in the Bible, Psalm 109, he dug a pot. Let, let him enter. Come on, let's sing it three more times. Any whatever you plan against me, use it. Use your head to carry it. Sing it with confidence. Come on. I monkey monk, oh my god, a job. It take a take Every mischief. Use your head for carries. And I'm ready. Sorry, oh no one, baby. Speak it into the atmosphere. Every negative arrangement. She will not prosper. She will not prosper. the Bible. Sing it. It's in the Bible. His mischief shall return upon his own head. Evil people. And his violent dealing shall come down upon his own head. This will be our testimony in 2020. This next prayer point is in Yoruba, but I'm going to translate it. Oluwa George Jere Omom. Wait, oh. It sounds simple. When it is time to harvest, let me harvest. Some people, other mothers are harvesting in their children's lives. Some, Iyao Kolon Jere. Some yeah, yeah, well, Lord, is the is the Lord that is harvesting. You were the one that labored, oh. Please pray this prayer. Shano me, have mercy on me, Lord. Let me let me not labor in vain over my children. When they now succeed, now that they are succeeding, let them remember me. Don't let any spouse. Turn their hearts against me. Don't let my mistake turn their hearts against me. Don't let anybody turn their hearts against me when I can no longer run around. Let them remain my Asha Ibora. There are sons that if they don't hear from their mothers in two days, ah, go possible. But there are some that they will not even call you two weeks. And they don't bother. Hey, Jesus. Ah. Hey. Oh, no, wow. I've labored and I'm growing old. Cancer will not touch my life. I shall not be wasted by any sickness. When my children are celebrating, nobody will represent me. I will dance my own dance. The MC will call me. Where is the mother? I will show up. No aunt. My sister will not represent me. My 
sister-in-law will not say, Emi no kubai, Emi no kubi, yeah. It will not happen. I secure my place, my position in destiny in this mother's summit. Jesus, show me mercy. I have labored over these children. My husband labored. We shall reap. We shall reap. Nothing with Felix Adere Mi Adejumo. Funka Felix Adejumo Ejere Omo Ejere. You will reap. My children will not have stepmother. They will not have step grandmother. Take my place. I secure my position. I will reign till I'm old. Are you on yummy? Or town yummy? Hey, the brokota ya buka shita ni gara kaza da ya bokos get logo jo brokos get dere bokos. I speak these powerful, positive words into the emos. The yebo kuka saka to baka. Luke rebo shete yi baka sata. Oh, thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. As you have spoken before God, even more, Ephesians 3.20, shall he do. Jehovah stamps our prayers. It was the reason I was able to enter. Me too. Hey? This is how this place is. And they allowed me to even video it. To have pictures. This is this. I saw the different rooms. I saw the history. They were even taking me around. A Muslim. That's what we call strange assistance. I've been going to London for years. I've just been passing and looking. Ha! Ah, so people are inside that place. Lawmakers are there. Took me inside. Nobody can self-make. You need people. As we are praying now, one of the Gwenye, they have the connection. I'm telling you, some of them are in church. They are in Zion. Oh, let's welcome the bishop. Thank you. The bishop will be closing us up. You know? There are some people, they have the connections. Just their signature. Just a phone call. Will it not be good if God connects our children? Don't you think so? There are calls that I have been privileged to make that change the trajectory of some people's lives forever. Please, mommy, I, I said, oh, which, which, did, where did you say? Okay, okay, let me call, let me call, no, no, let me call. I was in Cameroon. The, the people I went to preach, they informed the Nigerian embassy that I was visiting. So Nigerian embassy was represented there. Gave me money. And I say have a relationship. One call. One connection. That's all. In fact, I had to read a text message out in Ibadan. Somebody would just show up and say, I want to serve you. I want to help you. This one may be the most important prayer points I have raised today. And I have only maybe two more. Before we close, pray it as if you are in labor. You want to deliver. God, if you ever hear a prayer, please send my children strange assistance. Let them know that this is not because they are graduates or because they live in America. Olomo, please. Strange assistance in 2024. Strange assistance for my children and for me also.
very strange assistance. Oh, a lot of strange assistance. Oluwa. Strange assistance. Baba, even me, I don't understand the meaning. But God, I beg you. For everything that has Felix Adeju must signature. Strange assistance. That will cause my seat to be mighty upon the earth. Oluwa, hear this prayer. Very strange assistance. Let them call me to testify. Hey. Let them call me to testify. And me God, let me testify to them. See what God did for your mother and father. Oh. Let the Felix Adejo Mon dynasty experience strange assistance in 2024. Oh God. Guide our steps. Lead us. Strange assistant that makes a person to be mighty on the earth. Hey, Oluwao. Hear this prayer, God. Strange assistance. Oh. Hey, 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 make it a neighbor, Robo Shataya. Strange assistance. Kayabo Shataya. That we simplify our assignments on life. In life. That we amplify our voices, that we fortify us, that we make my seed to be mighty upon the earth. Beginning from my firstborn to the lastborn, strange assistance. Hear my cry, oh God. Attend unto my prayers. Just raise people that will just help us, that will just like us. Strange assistance. Strange. Holy Spirit, strange assistance. Very strategic, strange assistance. So that my seed can be mighty. Hey, Jesus. Lord, please remember us. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy. For my children, for my grandchildren, upon my husband, upon me. Strange. Let's begin to bring our prayers to a close. Thank you, Lord, because you answer prayers. In the name of Jesus, we have received. The Holy Ghost just spoke to me that I'm done, so we're done. <laughs> As wise children, let's give thanks to the Lord. There's a God in heaven that answers prayers. You will all testify. Yeah. This year, I will not lose you. Yeah. You will not lose me. Yeah. We will not lose our children. Yeah. We will not lose our grandchildren. Yeah. We will not lose our husbands. Yeah. 
something that is precious to us, God will preserve. He will add to us. Every time I hear from you, it will be joy, joy, joy. Any news you will have from my camp shall be joy, 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 joy. Mothers in Akure, I bless. Those of you watching online, as one with this commission, I partake of the grace that is in this house. I add it to the grace that I carry and I bless every one of you. I share the graces with you. Good things will be mentioned concerning you in the name of Jesus. And in 2024, silver and gold will multiply in your hands. If you believe it, shout a big amen. amen. What a mighty God we serve. Mother Summit 2024. I'm going to see you in 2025 if Jesus starts. It's my honor to let you know that June 20 this year, my husband will be 70. And even though we've been celebrating in our family, this is going to be the loudest. So it's my personal invitation to all of you. We're having the service here. It's a Thursday at 10 a.m. here in this sanctuary. And the reception will be outside. Some of you are wondering, some of you are looking, we are outside, don't worry. We have an event center there. And some of you, your children are getting married or you're doing one celebration. Now we have an event center. After this service, you can go. It's just one minute walk. It's a beautiful one. You can decide to use the hall. You can decide to use and have a garden party. Whatever. Please put it in your diary. Come and honor us. And as we close today, the bishop is going to put a patriarchal blessing upon us and our children. Just before he comes, let's honor the Lord with our seed. And then I'll take two announcements thank you we have the account details on the screen are you glad you came this year for bad news nobody will be telling me and hey, you know that woman is that woman eh, no in, Je in Jesus name see how far you brought me is it? I'm so, I'm so glad you found me worthy. I can, can see. your seed above your head from today silver and gold will multiply in your hand you have given money your life will not repel money in the evening of your life you will not beg to feed you will not beg to live when it's time to reap from your children, you will be alive. Amen. This money has gone into Mother Summit accounts. You will not be an ex-mother. The Lord shall give you rest. Amen. 2024 is our year of supernatural upgrade. It will be your best year ever. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. I have, two, I have two assignments. Drop your offering. Add some dance. Sorry, I have two announcements. She you brought me. I'm so glad you brought me worthy. I can see.
on Saturday, January 22, there is a special conference here for you. It's very special. God is using us to bring the world, people you might never have met, from different parts of the world to meet you here. And it's free. 9 a.m. January 2-0. It's once a year. I want you to be here. I want you to invite people. Let's feel everywhere. Let's get blessed. It's going to be amazing. Apart from worshipping God, you know, we have we have done we have yes you should clap you should clap for them US we have a speaker from Tanzania one time will be speaking I'll be speaking it's going to be power packed you cannot have a Kure life you must learn to get exposed to graces life to move go and if you cannot go there and we are and not as privileged we have made provision for foodstuff for clothing shoes, bags different kinds of things they will come and they will shop for free they will take a minimum of two items and they will shop for free meaning the privilege to do that also for free we're going to have health checks. We have doctors from different places to be a part of this. They will check your blood pressure. They will check if you need eye, whatever. They will, they will for free. Once a year is our celebration, women. I'm privileged to lead us. We've done that several times in Lagos. And now I have brought it home so that this region too can be blessed. So that we not just be blessing outsiders. I want you to be a part of what God is doing. Please help me tell your neighbor, January 22, Whether you are single, you are married, you are a widow, you are a widow, it doesn't matter. January 29 a.m. FFA wants you here. If you are a leader, Maybe in ministry or in politics or in business or in the corporate world. Please stand up. You are a leader. You know that you lead people. It may be 10 people, it may be 100 people. Step out. Meet me in the front here. You are a leader. You are a leading lady. If you are not sure, sit down. Once you doubt, you know you are not a leader. So, it's not everybody. All of us cannot be. Now, I have a particular and peculiar passion and burden for you because I'm in your group. I know where the shoe pinches, and there are very few safe places for leaders where they can be vulnerable. You don't know who to befriend. You don't know who to talk to. That will not carry your matter to the marketplace or use it to preach. So, I have a burden for you. Once a year, I want to be bringing you together for two days. Some part of the event, I will not allow any cameraman in. In fact, I will make everybody, I will place everybody under an oath that they should not record. We're going to be vulnerable. We're going to cry together. We're going to be on the floor together. And I'm going to make everybody know that nothing gets out of this room. Otherwise, God will be angry with you. It's not easy to be a leader. And it is not really easy to be married to a leader. I'm writing a book, a leader married to a leader. Even me, I'm crying as I'm reading the contents of the book. A leader married to a leader. leader. 
So what I have done is that so that other people from outside can have access, I have put that event close to Winning Edge. Winning Edge is 20 Saturday. So Thursday evening, and then the whole of Friday till about 4 p.m., we leaders we will come together inside that event hall. After this service, you can just walk. You will see um, bricklayers walking there. We're trying to get the place, you know, concreted and all that. We're coming on Thursday evening. It's a dinner. And I'm going to be the one ministering. We are going to eat. We're going to appreciate you. No other person is ministering. Then you have your bag you will meet with people from different parts of the world. People are coming from the Bahamas. They are registered. People are coming. That's how God works. Psychologists have discovered that you are only four people away from the person that will help you. Who knows? We meet in conferences like this. You can just sit down in a doing kitty and be praying. You just sit down, you know, don't sit down in a corner and be praying. That's why God raised me and has given me the privilege to know, to have these connections. And I've decided that that conference will not be free because free is a trap. And people are sharing and sharing. I paid for the knowledge. You must be able to pay time, pay attention. And I've put a price on that conference. It's 30,000 naira. It's nothing. But it's deliberate. Three, zero. You're going to have a full meal. You're going to have tea break. You're going to have a pack. I'm not exploiting you. I don't need the money. By God's grace. I don't. You're going to have a park. But more importantly, you are going to network. Money cannot buy it all. Your social network. <laughs> Money cannot buy it. Therefore, like and, and pay. You will see the link there. If you go to my website, www.funkefelisadejumo.org Just for you that can, go there and register and pay your 30,000. Then they will give you the details. And then Thursday 18th, come here, take a break. Without you, that church will continue. Without you, that business will You two come and get life here. Yeah. Come and laugh. Come and enjoy yourself. And those of you that you don't have, you don't know how to do that online, at the end of the service, just come here. My executive assistant will be there to take your details, give you the account to pay into, and tell you what next. Some of my team members will be, in fact, she's standing. The beautiful lady in red, or is it orange you are wearing? You know, just come here. If you don't, I don't know how to do that online, something, something. Just come here. We will teach you how to do, or we will tell you what to do. And then on that day, carry your body with joy. Tell your husband, me too, I'm going for my life. I supported you, me too, I want, come and make new friends. Egba, egba. I love you all. And my intention is that after this conference, we're going to start a group. It will not just be once a year. My intention is that in one of the years, I will just tell you, let's go to Ghana. Even. We start saving. I don't want it to just be a conference. This is what I want to do in 2024. Some of you are here. You can afford it. We are going to Mauritius in March. If you want to come along, if you want to come with your husband, fantastic. You register, you pay, and then we go and enjoy. Six nights at a resort. One of the days, we will have lunch on the ship. Ship. I'm a lunch where you can do. And you'll be able to ask my husband and I any question on that ship. Six nights, but it's only two days of conference. The other four days, now enjoyment. We are taking you to a place called Umbrella City. I've decided that we will chop 70 and leave 30% for children. I try. We have done wedding for them. We have given them uh, school fees. We have. Madam. You're going to wake up and realize that you are 74. This is the best time you can enjoy your life. Hey, to your children, say to the father, Daddy, 
this money that you have, spend it all on yourself. Because next of kin, they don't know how to spend money. I'm going to share. So enjoy your life. Oh, 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 oh. Without you, Omar oh, will leave. If you want to come to Mauritius, you can also see her. We'll give you the details. I love you. Royal ambassadors, protocol. Yes. If you want accommodation, you will tell, you will ask when you get here. There's accommodation. People have registered, they have booked. And hotels in Akura, we have related to them. They are giving us 20% discount for the conference. So if, you're, if you want to stay. And some of you, you know I have a resort, FFA resort. I don't run it anymore because I'm in school. Because some of you don't know this. I've handed it over to a consortium. We have also spoken to them. They are giving us 25% discounts. So whatever you see in FFA is not me. Who. Some people are running it and they pay me every month until I graduate. When I will take it back. So, yeah, what are they doing in FFA is not me. It's on lease. They came from Lagos. I need to put that caveat out. If you need accommodation, once you get here, it will be sorted. Is that okay? We're closing now. Did I forget anything? Because as soon as Bishop is done with us, we're running home. Any other announcements? I'll see you leaders there, and I'll see you at Winning Edge. Let's welcome the man that taught me how to preach. My Bishop, Felix Adejumo, for the patriarchal blessing. Let's celebrate him. Please celebrate this angel. <laughs> Hallelujah. We celebrate you, woman of God, and we love you dearly. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Please, you may be seated. I intend spending seven minutes with you. After now, we're going to have a wedding. I appreciate what the Lord has done in your conference, and I'm so happy to be a part. Let me read. Come and give the Lord a hand if you want to. Let me just share a word with you, and then I will pray for you. Genesis 20, 21. Genesis 21. 9 and 10. Genesis 2, 1, 9 and 10. Don't forget I said I'm going to spend seven minutes with you. And Sarah saw the son of Agai, the Egyptian, which she had born unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, cast out this bondwoman and her son for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. I will pray three prayers for you. She was the one. Ega has been in that house. I don't know for how long, but it was Sarah that upgraded her for, for her to become our competitor. She was not a competitor initially. A guy became a competitor just because Sarah upgraded her. We declare that this year shall be our year of supernatural upgrade. But be careful the person you upgrade. Be careful the person you upgrade. There are some people, leave them where they are. If you upgrade them, you are looking for trouble. There are people who want to take your seat, in case you don't know. And if ignorantly, you endorse them, you recommend them, you upgrade them, 
they are going to take and are too much in a hurry don't upgrade your adversary somebody that's going to take your seat your throne from you and eventually Sarah was saying cast this woman with her son out oh yeah but the deed has been done the problem she created up to today is still with us you please be futuristic anything you do now has a repercussion or a side effect in the future we are going to pray three prayers that i want to ask you to pray number one you will stand to your feet and pray this prayer quickly may the god grant you rest over your family May the Lord grant you rest over your children. Amen. May the Lord grant you rest over your marriage. Amen. That's number one prayer. Number two, may the Lord reward all your labor. Amen. May the Lord reward all your labor. Amen. You will not take a permanent decision in a temporary situation. The grace not to upgrade your adversary, receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace not to advance the destiny of your competitors, receive it in the name of Jesus. You will live. Your children will call you blessed. Your children will rise up to call you blessed. I release you to go and matter. You will live long longevity is part of the inheritance we have in him he said with long life will he satisfy us and he will show us his word his salvation may the lord give you long life you will remain relevant all the days of your life you will remain relevant in the mighty name of jesus thank you almighty god in jesus mighty name we pray god bless you The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. And surely, all the days of our lives, and we are dwelling in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless you. Please quickly leave the hall because we are having service now, wedding program. Thank you. God bless you.